Hello out there in YouTube land, Rival here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I got a couple pimp jobs on the turntable for you tonight, so we're going to dive right in. Uh, we're going to leave the grail for last here, so we're going to dive into the uh, Spyderco Gale Bradley. Um, this is actually a pretty popular knife I've never had my hands on before. Um, if you're familiar with this, it, it uh, is one of the Spydercos that had a carbon fiber top layer and then G10 underneath. Uh, Spider Co. over the years has kind of been criticized for doing some of that stuff. They're getting into full carbon fiber now. Uh, you know, better late than never, but... Um, so this gentleman wanted an update of those scales. He wanted full carbon fiber. We went lightning strike to go with the premium carbon fiber. Um, but we changed this thing up just a little bit. So if you're familiar with this model, you'll notice. Um, so first off, being full carbon fiber, we took the scales all the way out to the edges. Um, the Naturally, this knife, it's kind of shadow boxed, so you see just a little bit of liner poking out all the way around. That kind of made for an uncomfortable feel on this knife because everything had really hard edges. Um, so not, not the greatest, uh, really bulky as well. Um, and then naturally, the liner covered up that thumb hole just a hair. It, it pretty much matched, and you can see the liner... Uh, the, the lock relief uh, there, it pretty much matched flush, which was a pain in the butt to open because there was no relief cut, um, and then it was a pain in the butt to close because you had to kind of wedge the fat of your finger in there. A, a curious design for a knife that is so popular. Um, so we widened up that hole uh, just a little bit for better access, put a lock relief in there um, so that you can actually get your hand in there and get that blade open. Um, and then you can see the rounded, concealed carry style contoured scale all the way out to the edges, rounded uh, the corners as well. Oh, just a little pokey on that. Lightning strike, you know, it, it, when you just finish it off, it does have some of that uh, brass wire poking through. Uh, usually just a quick rub will take them off though. Uh, this thing's polished up pretty damn nice though. Um, you can see the contouring there. And then just that wire showing through. I think they turned out great. On the back side, he had already purchased this titanium custom clip uh, that is lightly bronze anodized, so it, it really goes good with the overall look. And then it's deep carry instead of standard carry, which I also like for these types of knives. Um, so all in all, this really turned out nice. A nice little upgrade for this knife. Uh, M4 steel, so pretty sweet steel. Uh, while it's been in here, I treated it with EDC, uh, the anti-corrosion oil, or lube, or whatever you want to call that shit. Good stuff. Alright, so this is a custom. Uh, I don't pimp a lot of customs, but every once in a while I get an inquiry uh, to do one. Um, so this gentleman had gotten him a, himself a grail. I wanted to change up the setup just a little bit, and I could totally understand why. I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's a beautiful knife. It's a Tom Ferry Devastator, and this thing is huge. I mean, you can see, just compared to the Gale Bradley, how big this knife is. Um, carbon fiber clip came from Tom, and uh, this bad boy had a carbon fiber backspacer. And a green scale. So the scale only partially covers the knife. I'll show you in a second. Um, but just one of the things that Tom does from time to time. Um, OD green scale with three carbon fiber stripes. So he wanted to switch that up a little bit. He wanted to have the carbon fiber take up the majority of the scale. Have some color inside there. Uh, we selected orange. And we did a gear pattern backspacer to match. So there is the scale. That's a uh, Ghost Carbon Fiber uh, Unidirectional F40, he calls it. Uh, we've got one, two, three orange G10 stripes to match the original design. So you can see it very much follow the lines of the original. Um, but big difference there. Um, so that unidirectional, you can see, I mean, it, it just gives that a really, really awesome look. Almost kind of like a wood grain look. Uh, but that is just the contouring uh, of the scale, so it's very thin. Then I put an orange liner right underneath there. Um, just gives it a, a friggin' sweet look. And then the back spacer, you can see I carried the same concept through. We've got an orange G10 stripe uh, sandwiched into the carbon fiber back spacer. And that is that unidirectional G10, or excuse me, unidirectional carbon fiber um, from the exact same block as this. Um, 
And then that just protrudes ever so slightly. I'm trying to get some focus for you guys, I'm sorry. There we go. Um, not uncomfortable either. Um, but really takes that, uh, you can see instead of jimping, I mean it's got that, that gear pattern right into the blades. We just carried that. Sorry right. about that, little power failure. Uh, so we were talking about the backspacer, uh, the gear pattern backspacer that we had selected to go along with the gear pattern that's on the blade itself. Um, so yeah, I mean I don't know really what else there is to do or show on this guy. Um, it is just a freaking sweet knife overall. Um, the carbon fiber, I mean it wraps well into the carbon fiber clip which is an amazingly sculpted clip, by the way. Um, I mean, it is a fairy, so there's that. Um, yeah, unidirectional ghost carbon fiber, orange G10, gear pattern backspacer, orange G10 stripe. Uh, to go with Gail Bradley, lightning strike carbon fiber. And uh, those are the... Uh, those are the pimp jobs we've got on the turntable this week, you guys. Uh, I got more stuff coming up. I got a uh, F16 uh, mid-tech review that I've been teasing for a while. I've got a Hellraiser mid-tech review that I've been teasing for a while. Uh, and then i got a couple more pimp jobs that are just about done. Got a uh, hinderer that's almost done and uh, oh, a tie beard comb that's almost done. So thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe. Peace.